everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am coming at you with a chit chat video and i'm sorry that this might be a long video but um i just want to give you guys a little chit chat on what is going to be happening um you know with me my channel my collection future purchases thought process of purchase of, of the future purchases and whatnot and also like my wish list so i'll tell you guys my wish list a little bit last uh in the video but i really think that i am at i don't know what it is but i think i am at a point where i really don't need to purchase luxury goods as much as i used to um mostly because I have the collection that I have now. All my friends and family say that my collection is absolutely crazy, but um, I know that there are more people who have way more hammocks than me, but still, I, I, but I still agree with my friends and family that, um, you know, my collection is getting a little bit out of hand and I keep purchasing new hammocks, but, um, for but what this video is mostly on uh, or is about is uh, like the h very high on luxury things like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, uh, Fendi, Prada, Gucci, like those brands. Um, and out of all those brands, I've like for handbags in particular, I've only purchased one handbag from those uh, from that category of the super high end luxury, um, you know, companies or brands. Um, and that was my Chanel Square mini flap um, in the chevron uh, quilting. And um, that was, I, I felt that after I got that handbag, I really, I was done. And yes, during the whole like summer and a little bit of the fall time of 2016, I was telling you guys, oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to get the Palm Springs mini or the mini pochette or, or whatever. But um you know, there, I thought about it more, and it just wasn't working out for me, because Louis Vuitton would always run out, they would not have stock, or, like, essays would not get back to me, and I was just having a lot of, like, issues, and I, and I just got really, really tired of it, of this whole, like, running around, trying to get a good essay, and, um, you know, getting the it bag that everyone has, and it's a beautiful bag. The Palm Springs Me backpack's a beautiful bag, but um, you know, I now that I've thought about it more, and that of all the issues that I that I encountered trying to get this handbag, I'm glad I did not get it because um, I purchased a Zara, um, you know, re not replica, but like. Zara bag that was inspired by the Palm Spring Palm Springs Me backpack and I don't use it that much. I really don't. I there's just something about it that I don't really use that much. I think it's because it's a backpack. I'm not really a backpack type of person. So um I don't really use that on the on the daily. But um anyways, so I I just, I, I'm not saying that I'm going to be totally leaving the luxury community and whatnot, but I'm just slowing down quite a lot, and I'm setting, I'm narrowing down my list a lot more because you know before I used to say, oh, I want this, 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 and having a never ending. But you know, what? I think I am starting to come to a never ending because uh, point of my wish list and uh, to my. Uh, collection addiction so um because you know what I have the I have the traveling pieces from Louis Vuitton that I've that I've wanted I have my dream bag from Chanel um I have you know plenty of shoes from many designers that I feel um you know that I I, I don't think I need any more shoes really and handbags like I, I feel like my collection is is already like complete to the T um, however there are just maybe two that I would like and then that's when I would say it's, it's done I am like no more handbags um, and also I think this also follows with SLGs uh, because 
my SLG collection is getting out of hand. I actually have more SLGs now than handbags. So I am, I don't know if, uh, you know, I will be purchasing any more SLGs in the future. But, um, yeah, so 2017, I'm going to be selling down a little bit more on my handbags and in the luxury, um, you know, repurchasing and all that all together. Um, although there are some days, I will admit, there are some days where I'm like, oh, I wish I had, I could buy a new handbag, or I, it would be really nice to have a handbag, oh, it would be nice to have this in my collection, da, da, da. but I find that I say that, but then the next day, or the next week, or whatnot, I'll just be over it, and I'll just be like, whatever, because I, I see these items so much on Instagram, and so much on the internet, um, even on YouTube, and all these other social media platforms that I kind of get tired of it. Um, but with my collection, I feel that like I can never be over it. I love my collection. I think they are like the pieces in my collection, uh, you know, completes, um, my style, so to speak. Um, like I said, I have all my traveling pieces from Louis Vuitton. I have my Holy Grail handbags, the fashionable handbags from Chanel and the fun other handbags from other brands and designers and stuff like that. So, um, not saying I'm going to be completely done. I mean, I, I will still be uploading videos and stuff like that. Um, but reviews, more chit chat videos of the like, like this one, um, maybe give you guys some opinions of some handbags that I think that I don't have, but I do have some thoughts about it because, um, I, I do have some people on Instagram and even on YouTube who ask me my, for my opinion on, um, certain handbags, um, like the, for example, I don't know, the Peekaboo, Valentino bags, Tom Ford bags, um, some other Louis Vuitton bags and, and whatnot. And, what I res uh, when when I do tell some people my honest opinion about these items, um, you know, viewers and followers, um, subscribers actually tell me that some sometimes my and I'm not bragging or anything, but sometimes my humble opinions about some um, of the bags I talk about or some aspects of whatever I'm talking about actually helped them make their decision to either buy it or not buy it so um you know maybe once a month or something or once every other week i will try my best to upload and be more frequent um with videos and stuff like that and um you know come on here and show you more videos so i hope to do that um but yeah i'm just gearing down a little I i'm slowing down on the luxury scale i am really narrowing down my uh my list a lot more uh to be honest with you um i have like two three pieces of luxury items that i have on my wish list and then the rest are like experiences and other things and i will get on with that but um you know i i do get quite a few people asking me oh you should i think you should get this bag or you should get that um and I appreciate that people um, are understanding my style and uh, you know like to like to recommend me handbags and stuff and would like to see me with them but there are just some things that I think that aren't always meant to be purchased um, for example the LV uh, cappuccines or cappuccines bags um, I absolutely love that handbag. That was the one handbag that, um, when I first took my boyfriend into Louis Vuitton, he said that he loved the handbag. He thought it was beautiful, gorgeous. But then, you know, I said to myself, it's a gorgeous bag, yes, but I don't think I see myself with it, um, because, I don't know, just looking back at my handbags, I don't feel... It's, it's, this, it, it is definitely me, but I just don't, there, there's just an undescribable feeling I have about this bag. Um, it's beautiful. I've held it. I've, I've tried it on in the store. It looks gorgeous, but there are just some things that, and also it's, 
for the price that that bag is for a Louis Vuitton bag and knowing that me and myself have had numerous uh, issues with Louis Vuitton's uh, you know quality issues I would not want to spend that much money and that's another factor um, into you know why I'm, I'm slowing down on my handbag um, and luxury list is I'm really looking for quality over quantity now I see and I'm not putting anyone on the spot here, but this is just what I see. I'm not going to say any names, but I see quite a few people um, on YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Um, you know, they purchase a bag, but then like a week later or so, they sell it to get another bag. So they're just like, I don't want my collection to become that um, because I've seen quite a few people say, um, like they'll get a jumbo or whatever a classic Chanel jumbo and say oh it's their holy grail handbag but then they'll sell it like a week later saying oh well it's my holy grail but I I, I, want, I, I feel that this other bag is my holy grail so I don't want to be wish-washy with my collection and also selling and selling and repurchasing and all that it's just too um, it's too complicated for me not saying that I'm like I, I can't handle it but it's it's something that I don't need in my life to worry about because when I sell things I get a lot of anxiety I don't feel good sometimes selling my stuff to some people I think mostly because I take really good care of my stuff and I just kind of hope and uh, worry and hope that the next person I sell it to will take just as good care of it as I did um, but yeah so that's that's just kind of my issue and I don't and I don't want my collection to be like a recycled like collection and like every new week or two months or whatever um, I have a new handbag and whatnot I don't want that to happen um, in 2015 when I really purchased a bulk of my um, you know uh, my collection I was starting to feel that oh I have to buy something every every month or week or whatnot, and but then it just did not feel good because what was I getting out of it? I wasn't I obviously I was getting beautiful handbags and everything, but I just didn't feel that um, I was complete like like I was when I went to Asia and when I went to uh, Vegas. Yes, I did purchase some luxury things, but like they weren't, but it was more about the experiences. And um, I really enjoyed doing or exploring those places rather than um, having my, my mind wrapped around shopping and stuff. Um, Cause that's what vacationing is for. It's to explore, it's to relax, it's to really enjoy yourself rather than, you know, shopping destinations so um that's that's what i i would i want to happen in 2017 and for the next few uh years after so and yeah i again i don't want my collection to be recycled because i have sold quite a few pieces i've sold my louis vuitton favorite pm i've sold my eclipse um chanel um elzip wallet and uh, a pair of Christian Louboutin heels at one time and um, a Proenza Schuler bag and maybe a couple other things and I just did not like um, selling it it was kind of annoying because you get a lot of there's a few types of people you get the scammers you get the low ballers um, you get flaky people or um, you get people who you know they say they'll meet up with you and then they just don't end up meeting with you at all so they're again flaky and whatever but there are some people who I meet that or who, or who I have sold to that are you know thankfully I haven't really run into big issues or one out but um, I just don't need that kind of stress um, when I am just ha trying to have fun with my collection and stuff so I so like I don't really sell things unless I don't know it's something that I really feel like I need to sell um, but I, I really don't so um, yeah and so on with my um, my wish list for this year so for those who have not followed me on Instagram um, please enjoy this video I hope and 
hopefully my selections don't come off as like you know kind of small and snobby or weird or whatnot but I have four four choices or four things on my wish list I hope to accomplish by this year so here is my Instagram post here. So I have four items, the Delveaux Le Brilliant mini handbag, the Ross Claire um, winter jacket by uh, Canada Goose, the Picatine lock bag uh, in the TPM size, so size I think 18 or 22 size, I forget. And then I would eventually like to get a cat. <laughs> Not just any other cat, but like a, a bangle cat and um so first of all i'll get on with the cat reason why i want a bangle cat um, i follow two cat bangle cat um instagram accounts um just mango brown and lumi the bangle by lydia millen um i think that's what her name is but um i follow their accounts and i just love those cats they're so gorgeous they're cute um, and I've done some research on them, and I think that they would be a, a good fit for my lifestyle, maybe. Um, and I've seen so many cat memes, like really cute cat memes, silly ones, um, hilarious ones. Um, and I've, like, a few of my friends have cats, and I just love their cats. So I am quickly becoming a cat person. I used to think I was a dog person, but I think I'm becoming a cat person. Um... And also, like, cats are a little bit lower maintenance, and um, there are times when I, I just need the low maintenance, you know, aspect when having a pet. Because um, I used to have a hamster. That was pretty low maintenance, but um, I want to step it up a notch uh, pet-wise. Um, so I hope to get, like, a Bengal cat or maybe just, like... Siamese cat or something. Um, next one is the... Um, Ross Claire kind of goose jacket here, so you can't really see. Just enlarge it for you, but that's what the jacket looks like. So it's an A line skirt type jacket. Um, and I know people are against Canada for a uh, Canada goose, but um, put that all aside. Uh, I I want a Canada Goose because I have a moose knuckle jacket and I am really tired of the low quality that my moose knuckle jacket has given me. Um, I tried washing it and it shrunk on me. Um, the lace to, um, I guess, like tie up the hood or um, like keeps breaking on me. Um, the little moose knuckle um, like metal logo keeps ca uh, keeps catching onto my hair. So I, I, I get really, really annoyed by that. Um, but Canada Goose, I hear, has amazing, fantastic lifetime warranty. My boyfriend had a Canada Goose, and um, he ha actually had holes around his, his sleeve. So we asked Canada Goose about that, if they could repair it, and they did it without charge, without a fee or anything. And when they did that, uh, it only took them like a month to do, and also... Um, they dry cleaned it for him and they they um, put extra down filling in there. So it was great customer service. Whereas Moose Knuckles, you don't have that service. Um, I mean, you can, but it's only a two-year warranty. And my boyfriend has a Moose Knuckles jacket right now. And he tried to get it repaired. But it took him all summer and fall to get the jacket back because they screwed up with the delivering and there's just a whole big process when he had to um you know send it into them so that's why i want it and also this particular jacket is um very it's different but it's classic at the same time and i just like the blended in black logo um because you don't really i don't really like the color um, the colors of their logo so I think the black label looks a little bit nicer um, next off sorry I'm just putting this away um, next off is the Hermes Picatine lock bag here and I want it in black Togo leather or any other soft leather I'm not really sure but I want the Picatine with the silver um, 
or the Palladium hardware because I'm, I I keep seeing this handbag on street. Um, it's not really a handbag that I've researched into, but I see it on street a whole lot of time. And Charles Gross has um, he has mentioned this handbag uh, a couple times in his in his videos in the past. Um, I just think they are just really really cute. Something so simple, and there's something innocent and but yet I don't know classic about them uh, or about this handbag. I like the the little lock that overlays over the opening. Um, it looks like a shopping, like a plastic shopper handbag, but um, I think it looks a little bit more chic than that. And I and I've seen people dress it up with like their um, with their charms. Uh, they've even put the twillies on the handles and stuff. And I think that looks really really cute. It gives that kind of like European cutesy anime type like Asian anime type look I don't know if, if that's an actual combination but that's just how I feel about this handbag um and I like th that this handbag has uh, feet on the bottom of of the bag it just gives it a little bit more I, I don't know depth to the bag um and yeah that's all I could say about it but I just love how it looks and um, I'm actually pictured I've, I've pictured myself with it and I think it would look really really cool on so my next one is and the last one is I believe will be my end be end all handbag of all time I hope to get this first rather than like the other three items um, this is the Le Brilliant in the mini size and I first saw this, I touched it, I asked so many questions about this, like I had a real real in-depth um, personal conversation and, or uh, an experience of this handbag when I was in Hong Kong with a sales associate in the Harbor City Mall and I absolutely love this handbag. It is so cute. My boyfriend calls it the Marshall's handbag because it looks like an old lady, old lady's bag from Marshall's. He's, my boyfriend's pretty crucial or pretty, not crucial, but he's pretty, um, <laughs> he's pretty mean about handbags, but, um, he said or actually i love this handbag because it's so classic the workmanship on this handbag is unbelievable i think it's actually better than chanel's and almost quite on par with hermes um, all their handbags are made in france as well and they are starting to get up there with the uh, hermes prices um, chanel has obviously uh, is obviously a little bit more now um, than Delvo, but I think Delvo for me would be my my version of the Birkin. And I know a lot of people say, why don't you get the Birkin anyways for an extra few thousand dollars more? Um, reality is, I don't want to pay ten thousand dollars for a handbag. That is not something I feel is quite um, you know worth it for me. Because if I spend $10,000 on a handbag, I am not going to be able to enjoy it as often. This double handbag is um, roughly almost about $6,000-ish Canadian. So it's like about the same price I got my Chanel Jumbo. I hope to get it this year. Um, I'm aiming to get it this year. Um, no more. I'm trying to not be sidetracked by all these other gorgeous, beautiful things that all these other designers have come out with. Um, but... Yeah, the quality workmanship is just amazing about that handbag. Now, the reason, another reason why I say it is my version of the Birkin is because now the Birkin and the Kelly, they have like that weird, uh, those weird straps where it, and the clasp where it makes it really annoying to get into. I feel that this bag does the same thing because you have to undo this buckle. Um, take the leather out of the buckle and then open it so it just and and then but then when you close it it's a little bit like it takes a little bit more time <laughs> but then also how you wear this handbag is you tuck the flap inside the handbag kind of like how the Birkin and Kelly is and 
so that's that's basically my like silly little reasoning why I I this is my version of the Bergen and Kelly, um, and I th I think it would fit me a lot better. It's and also you don't have to go through the cr the the ridiculous um like the ridiculous process of getting a bag. The, the Le Brillion is their number one um, best-selling classic handbag. Um, so you don't, I don't have to go through the whole BS, um, you know, commotion um, and try to buy up or buy up towards the other Birkin. This here, I can walk into, a, into the boutique and just purchase it right in right then there and also it's in Nordstrom so I get points as well when I purchase it and whatnot so that's a plus that's a little perk um but it's really gorgeous and I love that it has a it has a crossbody option and I can wear it as like uh, a top handle and carry it around like a classic like like woman on the street like I think that's really that's really classy just carrying your handbag in the crook of your arm um, like with a top handle bag and also I've always wanted a top handle bag anyways but I just don't really I couldn't really put my finger on it until Devo finally came to Toronto um, last September and that was when I was like done I am going to get that handbag no matter how how hard I try so I'm going to be getting that handbag sometime this year um, Hopefully, maybe I can get it like mid this year or whatnot. Um, depends on my personal life, what happens. So, wish me luck, guys. Um, I'm going through this whole saving process with it. So, maybe I can do another video of my saving process and whatnot of getting this handbag. I won't get into too much detail about my finances, but um, I, I will, you know, try to let you guys see in uh, in my process of getting this handbag so thank you everyone for um, your support and everything on my channel and on my Instagram I've realized just realized that I have like a little over a thousand um, subscribers and followers here on YouTube and Instagram I did not think I would um, you know, have this many people watching my videos or actually caring about what I say. So I thank you so much, guys, for all your love and support on my channel and also for, um, taking my honest, like, opinions about certain handmaids and such. Um, I really enjoy talking to some of you people, um, that have reached out to me. And if you, you know, have any questions and whatnot, please, um, the best is to personal message me on Instagram. I can get back to you right away. Here on YouTube, I'm not on my channel all the time. Um, or when I am, I'm just like... <laughs> it's hard for me to uh, go and, uh, or it's it's a little bit of a process for me to go on YouTube uh, to respond because I get quite a few. So um, please let me know in the comments below or Instagram, private message me on Instagram um, what your 2017 wish list is like and if you would like to see more of like a, uh, I guess a small little snippet of a a process of how I am saving for my be all end all handbag the Delvo handbag so I thank you guys all for watching again please follow me on Instagram Catherine is a cat if you not if you have not followed me there I will leave my name my Instagram name down below and again thank you guys so much for watching have a great one bye bye